Good morning everybody, welcome to another video and welcome to a rather chilly canal as you can see by, from my breath. We had a chilly night last night but I'm out this morning very early, it's about quarter to five now, something like that. And I'm out to do a little bit of uh, waggler fishing on the canal here. Lovely still morning, as I say it is a bit chilly but uh, I've come out really really early to couple of reasons really to beat the boats that's that's the main thing and I, I certainly think with very few clouds in the sky and um, the morning is certainly going to be the best part of the day right that's enough waffle I've got a little bit of bait in here um, just as I was setting my rod up I've also baited a spot a bit further along where I've had a few fish in the past so we've got a few a uh, few spots to go I've also seen some lily beds that have erupted through the surface which I've not seen before Perhaps we'll have a go up there as well, but I reckon we've got probably about three hours before the boat starts moving. The boats start moving and they, uh, they'll wreck the sport then because we're fishing out in the track today. Right, let's, uh, let's run through the, the gear and the bait and we'll get cracking. So guys, as per usual, when I come down the canal, I've kept it very simple. I've got some mashed bread with a little bit of Census 3000 in it, just to give it a little bit of extra flavour. I've got some bread. I've got about half a pot of maggots and I've got a pot of worms and that's it. I have bought a sleeper rod with me because there are a few carp around here and I thought perhaps we might spot a few reeds rocking or something and if we do we'll we'll go through that rod but I'm not going to just fling it out and hope. Um, I'm going to wait for a sign if we're going to use that. Setup is my Cadet CR10 14 foot match number two. Aye, aye. Just in the swirl down here look. So perhaps we will drop it out down here. <laughs> something going on down here. My uh, Cadence CR10 14 foot match number two. Uh, Abu 506 Mark II close face reel. I do like a close face reel for float fishing. And uh, a Drake waggler up there, very small Drake waggler. Well, um, I'll stick all the info and all the gear I'm using down in the description below if you want to go and have a look. But I think we'll keep an eye down here. Maybe worth dropping that, uh, that sleeper rod out as I said certainly something going on wasn't there I think perhaps it is worth now we've we've had a little bit of a sign just as we were talking about getting a sign we've had a sign so we'd have to ignore it wouldn't it I think I'm going to start off with a bit of bread. See if uh, a bit of Mr. Warburton's finest perhaps uh, get us a nice early fish. I've come to this particular spot because I've caught roach here in the past. Nothing of any size, nothing huge, but some nice ones. So the odd session I do do at the canal along here do you like this spot as I've said canal videos in the past you tend to know when there's fish in the swim you either get a bite fairly quickly or certainly the float will get knocked about and you'll get perhaps a few liners so we'll, we will know if there are any fish about fairly quickly I think. I don't see anything move aside from what we saw down here. I just put this sleeper rod out over here. It's one of my Dower extendable carp rods. It's got a solid PVA bag. It's a really really smelly fishy mix in the in it and uh, a trimmed down little boily just might pick up a bonus carp or, or big breed, big hybrid perhaps. I'm going to keep my head on a swivel this morning as well. If we see any fish moving, may well be worth moving on to them. It's 
certainly something going on down here. All right. Cool. That was a cop. <laughs> Cops just <laughs> swam past me here. Sort of came along here. <laughs> I swam out over that way. Well, we haven't had a bite yet, but there's certainly lots of signs of fish around. The, uh, the reeds keep knocking sporadically on the other side. And there's bubbles coming up on that other side too. There's been a few bubbles coming up where I've baited. There certainly seem to be some fish about. We've had this uh, this drive by from this cup. Decent fish as well. Certainly looked to double. Well, we've been at it a good half an hour. Yeah, more like 45 minutes. And not had the slightest sign of a bite. Well, there's clearly a few fish around. I am starting to get itchy feet and I'm starting to think of a move, to be honest. Just doesn't seem to be any fish in a baited area at all. And I've even tried casting into bubbles that I've seen over by those reeds Not occasionally, but Nothing doing. I think the sun's starting to get up, as you can see. I think that'll, uh, that'll make it even harder. <laughs> it wasn't hard enough already. I'm, I, I'm starting to think perhaps I'll give it another 10 minutes here and then we'll have a move. So, guys, come to the other area that I baited up. And just as I was walking along here, I saw... Um, Got some more reeds knocking over on the far side, so I thought I'd drop a little bit of bait in there as well, which I've just done. Gives us a bit of an option if we have any early boats as well. Fishing sort of the far side out of the track. But I have to say, there's not any obvious signs of fish here in this particular spot. Now, time for another move, I think. So, if we're not catching, we might as well get on our toes. I say, I saw fish roll up there, so we know. I certainly fished there 10, 15 minutes ago. So, uh, yeah, not going to go back. So, swim number three. <laughs> Don't think I've ever fished this particular area before. Certainly, a fish rolled here 10, 15 minutes ago, and one rolled about five metres that way. And from memory, last time I was here, fish rolled in here as well, when I sat up there in that last swim we were in. So it may, may be a holding area. We'll see. All right. Go on. Right straight away then. <laughs> Shows you, doesn't it? You've got to be on the fish. Literally. Floats straight away. I was just trying to settle it because it was just a little bit too deep. To shut it up a little bit. Fishing the lift method, and it just sailed away. Did a wonderful job of missing it. <laughs> My first bite of the day. It's a good start. <laughs> it's a good start after an hour. <laughs> well, a good hour. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Mm. Right, we're 
getting some bites. <laughs> Look on the bright side. <laughs> Shelter, it? Location. It's everything. It's absolutely everything. Well, there's certainly some fish down there. As I was saying about the float getting knocked about, it's certainly getting knocked about now. <laughs> Hopefully you can see it, but it is quite a small waggler. Blimey. Something's just moved along here. Maybe we need to drop that sleeper rod in. All right. <laughs> I think you probably saw that. <laughs> Certainly some fish here. Nothing feed wise in this ground bait either, it's literally. Alright, there we go. Uh, let's do it again. Right, something's not right, we need to change this hook link. Right, change the hook link, change the hook size onto a 14. Certainly found the fish. All right, floats off. <laughs> Just went sideways about six inches. But I'm sitting on my hands a little bit because I'm missing quite a lot of bites. <sighs> missing quite a lot of bites. Right, I'm going to def out the lift method. Because for whatever reason, <coughs> we're missing lots of bites. There's a lot of fish here, isn't there? <laughs> I think I need to get that sleeper rod out. I'm going to get it out and stick it on that far side over there. I think we'll do that now. We might pick up a bonus hybrid bream or even as I say even a cop perfect right that mod can do its thing as I say I'm not on the lift method anymore I've taken that off for whatever reason it's not working well, it's working, we're just missing all the bites. So as I said, I'm wondering if we'd we'll be better off just on standard float tactics. Canal's not really towing at the moment, so it's not an issue. So guys, while we're sitting around missing the odd bite, I'll, uh, I'll just update you on what's happened. I have actually been out since you last saw me. After that cracking session I had a couple of videos ago on manor, I just thought I've got to get back, I've got to have another go. So I went for another 24 hour session, same swim. And uh, it all seemed good, I got there. Um, there was carp cruising around all over the place. I mean, I was tench fishing ideally. Really, really had my heart set on the tench again. But you know, don't mind catching some nice carp as we did in that video. If you, if you haven't seen that, I'll stick you a link up there. You can go and have a look at that video. It's two videos ago. But uh, there's carp cruising about everywhere and I thought, this looks good for it. And I went straight on the tench fishing. Uh, gave it a good few hours, not a lot happening. And there were so many carp about, I thought I've got to have a go for the carp. So I stuck a zig out because they were cruising about and the backs out of the water like sharks. But uh, I had a zig out for a few hours or a couple of zigs, I think, at one point. Nothing doing at all. So 
went back to the car and got some some floaters, some old dog biscuits I've got in the car from several years ago. And I thought I'd give them a go. And I baited up uh, three spots close to me where there were fish moving. They weren't interested. I couldn't get them. I couldn't get them interested in any uh, in any floaters either. They just seemed sort of quite preoccupied. So I got my thermometer out. I wonder what the temperature was because it was about 15 or 16 degrees last time I'd been. This was only 10 days prior. Um, I put it in. It was 19.1. I thought, oh, that's why this. That's why they're preoccupied. Looks like they're. Uh, they're getting in the mood for spawning. And I thought, well, perhaps the tench are as well. I know tench spawn around 20 degrees, so perhaps they are as well. Um, I'd spoken to a chap as well when I got there. Fishing swim 12, I was in swim 8, but I was fishing swim 12, and he, he said he'd had, been there for 48 hours, and he'd had half a dozen tench the, the sort of two nights before, and then the previous night he'd had one. Uh, I thought, well, at least attention feeding, that's great. Perhaps they're just feeding at night. He said it was night bites. Oh, okay. So I wasn't too worried when sort of dust came. I, as I say, the carp didn't seem particularly interested at all, although they were all over me. I hadn't seen any sign of tench at all. Nothing, not not a sign. So I went into dark, fully expectant. I was going to catch some tench. And was, uh, was very surprised when my alarm went off that first light the next morning that I'd not had a single bite. Nothing at all. Absolutely nothing. I got up at first light as I did today and watched the water. And you know, the whole time I was there, I never saw a single tench, which is very, very unusual. Didn't see one roll, anything, absolutely nothing. Which, as I say, it's very unusual for that place. I usually, usually like a show. Um, I didn't actually see any carp the next morning either. Um, and then by nine o'clock's curfew time, it's time to go. So after a decent session, and well, a bit more than a decent session the previous one, this time, slap in the face, the big fat blank. <laughs> but that's fishing, isn't it? But I shall be back. I'm going, uh, going next week onto Hunt's Corner with my friend James. We're going to have a go for the tench on there. Hopefully we can uh, can have a few nice tench. There's some nice bream and roach in there as well. So that would be nice. There we go. Blimey. <laughs> Just charging about. Is it a very lively bream, or is it a hybrid? <laughs> Whatever it is, first fish of the day. <laughs> it's probably hybrid, it's going crazy. I'm talking uh, roach bream hybrids, that is. They do absolutely go crazy, like this one is. This is a bream, it's absolutely supercharged. It's not particularly big either. It is a hybrid by looks of it. <laughs> Great fun catching these fellas. Yeah, it is. Oh, it's a nice one as well. Cracking. That's about that. Nice hybrid. Certainly body shape of a roach, but definitely a lot of bream in there as well. <laughs> right, we shall return him up the canal so he doesn't disturb this swim any more than he already has. Well, that's great. Absolutely love catching hybrids. They scrap really well. And as soon as we've changed from the lift method to standard float tactics, hooked into a fish. Weird. Lift method's usually a cracking way to catch on the canal. 
it just didn't seem right today. For whatever reason, we were just missing a few bites. So a bit of an update. Of, uh, I've had a little move along there. Only, I don't know, 10 metres. Just to where those fish were all rolling. But uh, absolutely nothing doing at all. Quite bizarre. So that being that, I've come back where we had that hybrid. And just for the last few minutes, can't imagine the boats are not going to start moving soon. I think, I think, as I said, we're on borrowed time. I don't think it's going to take long before they move through. Kind of all the activities sort of dying down as well now. There's quite a lot of bubbling going on. That's all eased off. This sort of rolling is eased off as well now. And as I say, the canal is starting to move. Certainly, boats starting to starting to move around. It's been quite quiet. I thought perhaps we'd have had a few more fish this morning. I knew it was going to be a bit of a struggle with that sun, but it's, it's forecast to be the same all week. And this morning was really the only morning I had. So I have to do the school run in the morning. But this morning, I didn't have to do it. So yeah, I did know it was going to be a bit tricky. With, I think, the fish <laughs> verging on spawning. And this sun, there we go. This sun being out. The hybrid, I would imagine. Well, how crazy it's going. See, the fact that we're catching hybrids as well sort of tells me that the fish are spawning because I believe, I believe, well, I think it's hybrid, I believe um, hybrids don't breed. I think hybrids generally are, are, are sterile. All sorts of hybrids, I mean, of all different species, but that's another, another lovely fish. Fire like crazy. <laughs> Certainly plenty of bream about that, but uh, very roach-like as well. <laughs> right, again, we'll, we'll return him up the canal. Yes, very quiet here now. I think I'm probably going to give it another 10 minutes, I reckon. I might give it 10 minutes here, and I think I'm going to have a wander back towards where I've parked and uh, fish perhaps some of the fast water, maybe for 15, 20 minutes. See if we can pick up something else. Because, as I say, it's gone, it's gone very quiet in here. I don't get any indications at all. So guys, I don't think we've got too long before we have the boats moving. So I thought I'd come to spend the last part of the session by this bit of oxygenated water. I've dropped in here once before when I was really struggling and uh, I had a couple of bites. I missed both of them. <laughs> Two unmissable mites in here that I missed. But I just thought with the water being relatively warm, it might be worth just running a bit of bread around in here. As I say, just for however long we've got left till the boats turn up. It's nice and uh, shaded here as well. I'm just wondering if you might perhaps pick up a bonus fish. Something here. Just shot out there. Possibly a zander. Chasing something. Mm. 
Yeah. <laughs> Simply just chasing some up and then you jump there. <laughs> I don't get over there. Unless, as I say, this is signs of spawning, maybe. Bite. <laughs> missed that. She changed over to maggots from uh, from bread. Still bright fairly quickly. There we go. <laughs> What's this? A little roach. Well, fantastic. <laughs> Thought they were little roachy bites. <laughs> Last time I was here and that one earlier seemed very roach like. There we go. Right, I think we'll walk in a minute. Because if we put him back, we'll uh, scare all his mates, won't he? Just him down there in the net. Yeah, he's he's righted himself. That's cracking. There we go. Oh, that's a nice one. Just down the edge here. Oh, that's a nice one. Cracking. It's like we found a little roach hot spot. Excuse fingers, it's very lively. That was uh, right where I saw what I think was a Xander chasing some roach down here. It's only very shallow. I mean, I'm barely two foot deep and it's, uh, I'm on the bottom. And again, there's a few down there, isn't there? Oh, I think we found a hot spot. God, what's this? It's gotta be a hybrid. It's going absolutely nuts. <laughs> <laughs> no, it looks like a roach. Of course, a few down here. Wow. Fantastic. That's absolutely wonderful. And even bigger again. Fantastic. Oh, this is great. I'm... Uh, I'm loving this, as I'm sure you can tell. <laughs> Blown. It's going nuts. One of these hybrids, I think. Huh. Trying to get under the net. Come on, go in it. <laughs> Absolutely crazy. Certainly is. More bream than roach, but uh, certainly a hybrid. <laughs> well, that's about that. We found a cracky little spot here. Fantastic. Certainly. Today, anyway, <laughs> knowing canals, you can think you find a cracking spot and then come back the next day, and it's 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 nothing like sort of place you kind of expect to find fish, though, isn't it? When the weather's warm and like a bit of oxygen, well, certainly it would have been worth the early morning. Had to work at it, and uh, no boats yet, which is an absolute bonus. I'm going to have to go soon anyway, though, because uh, I need to do some work.
Whee! Hello. Hello. <laughs> I think we know what this is. No, 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 no. Out, 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 out. That's all right. <laughs> <laughs> it's a perch. Look at that. Playing a perch and dog wrangling at the same time. <laughs> well, I think that's my first perch ever from this stretch. No monster. And he's not very happy at all. <laughs> As you can see. <laughs> Cracking. And come on about my fifth swim. <laughs> but you know, you do what it takes, don't you? Managed to, managed to save the maggots from the Labrador. <laughs> They're actually a bit more appetizing as you might than you might imagine because um I've actually put some custard powder in with them, so they they do smell quite appetising, which is what he could smell, I think. <laughs> well, it's gone a bit quiet here now. I think I'm going to give it five minutes, and then we'll call it a day. It's gone nine o'clock now, so we've had a good four hours at it. It's not been easy at all. We've had to work at it. It makes it all the more pleasurable when you when you catch a few fish, doesn't it? Right, that's it. I'm going to call it a day there. My lovely slack over there is now no longer a slack. This is pushing through, so there's clearly some locks being opened further uh, further up the canal. So time I went anyway. So I've had a very enjoyable morning. It's been lovely to be out. I love being out first thing. I hate getting up, but I love being out first light. Saw barely a car on the way down here and uh, to be greeted with Misty Canal and the birds singing, the woodpeckers banging away. It's been been lovely. And uh, yeah, it's hard going. I think the fact that we had no bream is uh, is quite telling. I think that shows that they're, uh, they're certainly spawning or certainly thinking about spawning and not thinking about their dinner, that's for sure. But we've, you know, we've dropped on this spot, found a lovely spot here now. Caught my first perch from this stretch of the canal. At a high bridge, caught some roach in here as well. So these oxygenated areas, quite a good bet when the water's warming up as it is. Anyway, I'm waffling, it's time to go home. Now I will be out again. The plan is to get out again tomorrow evening, get to up on the Grand Union. But for now, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. Tight lines, enjoy your own angling when you get out there. Many thanks to the channel patrons for your fantastic support. And I'll see you all again very soon.